Well, as it turns out, a lot of people want to see the little trebuchet at work. So let's see what we can do to get this thing working. So I have this little round uh, rock and I'm just going to load it in the sling just like that. And this, I've looked this up and this is what they're, they're using or suggesting for <laughs> sling. And we'll see what that works like. Okay, so here's test one. Now that's nothing. Let's try that again. Now that needs more work. It's just rolling out of the sling, so I need to go. I'm going to go check and see what they're doing for slings. I'm going to go check the internet. Okay, so it turns out that in fact despite what it's a lot of the internet says it doesn't ride on the bottom tray like this and we have our rock in so that it's riding along like that in fact what they're suggesting is that it goes like this okay so I've got this turned at uh, the right angle now let's see what happens here Well, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's underneath. Well, at least uh, at least we got it from off the tray. I think we need to go back and I think we'll need to modify this end and put a little pin. I'll probably just tape a little nail to it or something. Okay, here's what I've done now. So I have the same sling and it's got the two strings on it. And you can see one. One of them is tied to the end the throwing arm. The other one has a loop in it and this is what I've seen them do in an actual full-size live one and they put the loop on here and the idea is that when the throwing arm gets over the top the loop comes off and it throws the arm. So I'm going to do that but I'm also going to change ammunition to something a little less lethal than these rocks because uh, it's banging around in here and I'm afraid it's going to break my lights. So in case any of you are wondering, I've got these, I guess they're like little glass rocks and they're they're pretty hard. Uh, but I found something else that I think it's got lots of weight to it and it's pretty hard but it's not quite as hard as the glass rocks. In fact, when you take the wrapper off them, uh, you can actually eat them are just little chocolate eggs. And they're going to be a lot less lethal than throwing around these glass rocks in my workshop. Okay, whatever number this is, let's see where this goes. Oh! That threw perfectly right into the side of the wall there. Well, it looks like it's a little bit of a hit and miss, but let's try one more time, then maybe we'll take it outside. Whoa! Hey, that's working perfect. All right, let's take this outside and see how good this throws outside. Well, here we are down at the down at the water, and hopefully, with the water in the background, we'll actually be able to see our projectiles uh, firing from our trebuchet. So, let's uh, set it up and uh, see if we can get this thing to work. <laughs> Running out of ammunition here. Okay, one last shot, and I've modified the pin, so we'll see if it makes any difference here. Oh, it does. Well, that's the best throw yet. That's about uh, 20 yards. Well, maybe more like 12 or 13 yards. Still pretty good. Well, I was able to 
change the way the pin fit on here instead of using the uh, bl the blue tape um, but it's still a tape on here and I was able to be able to move it up and down and the pin just like the video I'm going to post on the end of this so you can see in true life what it what a, uh, a big one is working like the pin does make a big difference and I was able to move it just up and down is all I could do but it made a big difference uh, the further I put the pin out the further it pitched uh, the little rock for me so anyway there we go the trebuchet does work. We can all rest easy. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Whip. <laughs>